In this lesson, we are going to implement add to cart functionality. When you go to the product page and click on add to cart, we create a React context and add items that you have selected to the cart and show a badge for that item in the header menu. If you click on add to cart one more time, you can see the update of cart items in the header menu. Also, we have a limitation based on content stock. If you add one more item greater than content stock, it's not going to be added to the cart and you will get this error message. To get the source code of this lesson, go to the repository and in the comment section, find the changes that we have made in the video 8 handle add to cart. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to implement add to cart functionality. We need to create React context to save the cart item in the React application throughout all pages. To do that, go to the utils folder and create a new file named store.js with capital S. Here we need to import two function from React. They are create context and use reducer. Call create context and set it as store and export it. The next step is defining the initial state. For initial state, define initial state and set it to an object. And inside that object, define cart. And for the cart, define an object and set cart items to an empty array. So by default, we have this state cart and inside the cart, we have cart item. By default, there is no item in the shopping cart. Next step is defining a reducer function. Reducer function accept two parameters, state and action. And then we need to define a switch case to check the action.type. If the action.type is cart add item, we need to update the state and add the new item to the cart. To do that, get the new item from the payload of that action and set it as new item. Then search the state for this item using find method on the cart item in the cart object in a state. If the item with this slug has been found, exist item get that item. If exist item exists, what we need to do is to use map function on the cart item. What we want to do in the map function is to check each item in the cart item. If they are equal to the exist item, replace it with the new item because the new item contains the new quantity of this item in the cart. Otherwise, keep the items in the cart items as they are. So here is the code inside the map function like this. Otherwise, simply use the constructing array operator to deconstruct all items in the cart item and concatenate them with the new item. So we push the new item at the end of the cart items like this. At the end, put semicolon and save the code. At the end, cart items variables contains the updated cart item. We need to return them here because the reducer function need to get a new state. Keep the previous state as it is and only update the cart inside the cart keep the previous values in the cart as they are and only update the cart item based on this expression so what we do in the cart add item is to add the new item to the cart but if that item exists in the cart item we only update the quantity of it using this condition because the new item contains the new quantity from the action.payload. 
also we need to define the default case and for default case only return the state as they are here is the reducer function the last step is defining a react component named store provider the react component accept children as a parameter and what it does is to create a wrapper for the children and pass store.provider to and make it available store.provider for the children in the store provider what we're gonna do is to define a reducer hook using use reducer and pass the reducer function that we have defined here as a first parameter and initial state that we have defined here as a second parameter and we get the state and dispatch from the use reducer hook then define another variable named value and it's an object that has state and dispatch combined and the last step is returning the store.provider store is coming from create context function and that provider is a wrapper for all components in this application so we use a store provider in the app.js what we pass as a property to the children in the store provider is the state and dispatch so we can have access to the state and state contains the cart and cart items save the code and go to app.js here to wrap the component inside the store provider so after return create a pair of parentheses store provider press tab to import it from utils slash store and then drag component inside store provider and save the code good that's the usage of store provider that we have defined in store.js so we simply created store initial state reducer and store provider to make it available cart item throughout components inside the Next.js application. Here it's time to go to the slug.js where we have defined add to cart function and implement add to cart here. Simply set on click to add to cart handler and then scroll up right before return define add to cart handler function. For add to cart function we need to use the dispatch from the store provider so to access to the context the react context that we have defined here the react context that we have defined here we need to use use context function here is the code to do that at the beginning of product screen define state and dispatch equal to use context control space to import it from react here and get store from utils slash store so in the state we have cart and cart items great let's use the dispatch inside the add to cart handler and based on the store.js i'm going to dispatch this action cart add item go back here and dispatch this action the parameter to dispatch is an object that has type and payload properties. The type is cart add item. It should be equal to the text here. And the payload should be an object that contains the product properties plus quantity field. And the quantity is one because we are going to order one item of this product. Save the code to format it and by having this code we can add item to the cart if we check the result by running npm run dev in the project folder if you have it running there is no need to run it again and open in localhost column 3000 if i go to product details and click on add to cart there is no change in the ui i'm going to show a badge next to the cart when i add an item to the cart to do that 
go to the layout.js and at the beginning of this component, use context hook should be used to get the state of the context. Import use context, import store, and we are going to use the state. From the state, get the cart like this, and then scroll down to find the cart. And inside the cart link, let's have a conditional rendering if cart.cartitems.length is greater than zero, it means that we have at least one item in the cart. What I'm going to render is a badge using span, create an span element, and inside that, use reduce function on cart.cartitem and use accumulator and current item.quantity to show the sum of all quantities in the cart items. Save the code and then add a class for the span like this. Set margin left, make it rounded, set background color to red, padding horizontally two, padding vertically one, set text to extra small, make the font bold and set the text color to white. Save the code. Awesome. We have one item in the cart. If I refresh the page, I have no item in the cart. If I click add to cart, awesome. It works. So we have implemented add item to the cart using react context. If I click add to cart one more time, I can see any change here, but in a e-commerce application, it should increase the number of item in the cart. Let's fix it. Go to slug.js and in the add to cart handler and define exist item equal to this expression. What we are going to do in the find function is to search in the items of the cart for the product that we have in this page. If we have the product in the cart, what we're gonna do is to increase the quantity of that product. So if exist item is true, set the new quantity to exist item dot quantity plus one. Otherwise, we don't have this product in the cart. So the quantity should be one because by default, we are going to add one instance of each product to the cart. So instead of having quantity equal to one, make it to the quantity that we calculated in the previous line. Save the code. Let's check the result. Click add to cart. Uh -huh. This time when I click add to cart, I have two instance of free shirt in the cart. If I click more, I can have more item. Also number of items in the cart shouldn't be greater than the content stock. Let's have a condition here. If product.content stock is less than quantity, I need to show an error message and return. For error message, we can just show this message using alert like this. In the data.js, for the first product, content stock is 20. So for the first product, if I increase it and make it 20, aha, uh -huh, sorry, product is out of stock. So we cannot add products more than content stock. Good, that's it about this lesson. We implemented add to cart functionality using React context to get more information how React context work. React context provides a way to pass data throughout the component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level. If you want to get more information about React context, check this link. Let's review what we did in this lesson. In the layout.js, we have used, let's get rid of this patch here. We don't use it here. We have used the use context to access to the store and get cart from that. 
and show the cart in the header menu as a badge. In the app.js, we wrap the whole application inside the store provider. In slug.js, we use the context to handle add to cart functionality and we created a store.js to define a React context, initial state, reducer, and store provider for the application. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.